COVID-19 is a disease that has affected many people worldwide and is transmitted through, through nose and mouth. And people are supposed to use masks and wash hands frequently with soap to avoid the contaminated virus. Spread easily among people, so it can attach everyone once she is a child or an adult. Yeah, COVID-19 is a dangerous disease and it can be spread from one person to another, especially in crowded areas. And it can be controlled by or prevented by even wearing masks and avoid going abroad. And my learners that at school, they were assisted in the sense that they were given books to read at home and were encouraged to go and attend reading camps so that they can improve their learning process. When school closed, learners were assisted through reading books and listening from radio programs. Yeah, I the introduction of reading camps soon after learning here is also part of the part that is encouraging learners to learn, to learn how to read and write frequently. So it's very easy young boys and girls to read, to be able to read, they are able because they learn twice a day. In the morning, they come to school and after no, they learn through the reading camps. So there's no way whereby a learner can learn away without knowing how to read and write. So it's very, very important that you nascent people, you have to continue providing these things to the schools of Malawi. We have life skills, uh, subjects that, uh, that help us to teach the learners the hygiene, uh, as well as to control the transmitted of uh, COVID-19. Washing hands, wearing masks, that help the learners to next time to avoid uh, getting COVID-19. My children are in school and they are following rules of COVID-19 by washing hands with soap frequently and wearing masks. Now we are working as teachers, but the syllabus has all affected. Yes, because time frame is reduced. Instead of having 15 weeks, 14 weeks, and 12 weeks, we are having 10 weeks, 10 weeks, 10 weeks. Kwa majo sangala tanjahuri anawa mavira kusuguru Kina soji menejida kumudu tanjahuri anawa Menana lega suguru Kwa huri zima kala ori anawa Malimbiki tido waga maja pala kusuguru Ndiya huri ana ngona ngono Ama kani ndi mavira huri kusuguru Ya iferu vira kusuguru Agura upika pala Ndiya pala lija li lulimbiki tano vira kusuguru Before nascent Renas We are coming off the empty stomach But now Once they come here they take that college then they learn with almost their with energy. Before it, it was very difficult, and there was an uh, absenteeism rate was high. Now, absenteeism rate has reduced because of the taking of soya through nursing solution, which provide soya for the learners. There are so many number of learners who dropped out of school due to COVID-19 pandemic. So I can just give you an example of eight, uh, I think nine of them dropped out of school. Um, there are five girls and four boys. So three girls aged 14. Um, Two girls aged 17 
and uh, one boy, age 12, three boys, age uh, 15. Uh, on those uh, five girls who dropped out of school uh, to get married in the same village where they are living uh, with the uh, elder people. So three, as of now, they are impregnated with their boyfriends. And still, they are at home, they are not coming to school. But uh, my wish is that uh, I can go and uh, um, chat with them, give them uh, some tipsy, so that uh, after delivery they can come back to school.